And again, that is that white narrative, that white God. So to empower us, we have to really understand where we came from and our beliefs and incorporate that. Because again, we have institutions, everything that we, anything that's valued, you have works, Renaissance works, right, that are valued, priceless works, and they're saying that this right here, this is beauty of a, of a white woman, right? This is, nobody can afford this, this is expensive, no one can touch it, but yet you have black art that's devalued. And so that says a lot visually. So I'm, again, just trying to help that narrative. The Yoruba religion comes from, I would say, Yoruba land, which is the West, Af which is West Africa that spans Nigeria, Benin, Togo. And it was spread through the Atlantic slave trade. In doing so, a lot of the Odishas were, were lost. And some, so some gathered some Odishas in one area, others in a different area. They believe that this all-knowing God who makes the world turn, who, who embodies this energy in all of us, created over 400 Odishas as assistants. They have one for every belief, human emotion, love, fertility, um, the hunt, every natural phenomenon. So you have all these different gods that you can pray to specifically. Nothing's really been written down. It's all been verbal, so they changed and there's so many of them and there's different versions of them so i'm going to recite what i get from them 